Hi, my name is Will Lehman, and I'm here to present the topic of aleatory and epistemic uncertainty as it pertains to estimating statistics in HEC WAP. When talking about aleatory uncertainty, what we're trying to describe is something that spans the probability range. So you can think of this as flow or damage. Um, what we might do is we might estimate a damage for all of the events sampled within a given realization in the WAT. And if you were to rank them, um, that would create a damage frequency curve. The variability in that damage estimate is a, nat a, a natural variability. It is a, an aleatory variability. Um, another example might be stream flow. If I were to ask you what the annual maximum stream flow is in your stream next year, um, you would have to say, well, that varies naturally. And so they, these are the kinds of variabilities that, that we, we call aleatory uncertainties. We don't know what the flow is going to be next year. We don't know what the damage is going to be next year. It varies naturally. And that's an, an aleatory uncertainty. So when we think about aleatory uncertainty, it's going to span the full probability range from the zero year event to the uh, never to be exceeded year event. There is another variability that we need to know about or an uncertainty that we need to know about. We call it epistemic uncertainty or knowledge uncertainty. Knowledge uncertainty is trying to describe the fact that due to our limited knowledge, we may or may not be able to predict this relationship with certainty. So um, in the Watt, we might have multiple realizations of damage frequency, or in FDA, we might have multiple uh, realizations of damage frequency, and each one of those estimates is expressing the fact that we don't really know what the EAD or what the, the damage frequency relationship will be, um, and that can be expressed with confidence intervals. So here I've got our confidence intervals where the black dots are going between the confidence intervals. That's our epistemic uncertainty. Our confidence intervals describe our lack of knowledge that our relationship that we're describing with the frequency curve represents truth. So that's the difference between aleatory and epistemic uncertainties.